All right, people. Here we are in Mission Viejo, California. We're rocking some freaking trails, man. Jesus Christ. Live it large. There's supposed to be some trails like right near here. I'm supposed to be connecting to. You can see my little handy camera there. And my, my little handy uh, map there. I'm trying to find, I'm like really close. As far as the the map on my phone goes, I'm like an eighth, an eighth of an inch. So that can't be very far. But anyway, there's supposed to be some really cool trails around here. I've already been kind of finding them. Uh, I don't know if I'm exactly on the trail yet, but I'm really freaking close. But there's just some awesome trails around here. They go for a long way. And we're, uh, we're rocking my V3 motor. We're rocking my 30 amp hour controller instead of 20. We're rocking my eight speed uh, gear set and my speed shifter. And uh, yeah, we're just seeing what happens. So again, I'm really freaking close. Now I'm like an eighth of an inch. Which means it's like right here, like where is it? Come on people. I gotta be connected with it, maybe this is it. I mean these trails are like, I'm connected. I'm like literally on top of it. But where the heck is it? You know? Anyway. We're gonna find it, and we're gonna ride it, and we're gonna have a really good freaking time. There it is. See, I think it's right over there. And there's this big old valley between me and it, which really sucks. I see somebody walking over there. Let's see if I can connect. See, I'm literally running parallel, people. Well, that's not gonna do it. I don't want to run parallel. Come on now. Is this it? Yeah, see? All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right, this is gonna be a little hairy here, people. A little grassy. I gotta like do a little jump over this thing here. Not literally a little jump, because that would probably kill me. But somehow, I gotta get over there. How's that gonna work? Okay. All right. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this sucks. All right, we did it. Sorta. Of. Uh, all right, we did it. We had to go in like a little creek thing just to make it happen, but we did it. You got a little torque situation here. Come on. You gotta be so careful with this thing. Like, I can't give it a lot of torque when my engine cuts out. So I gotta be like really light on the thumb, if you know what I'm saying. All right, I think we're on the trail. It's got some name, it's called Tierra Creek Trail. Or is that what it's called? Tiejas, what is it? The eyes are going. Tierras Creek Trail. I don't know if you guys have ridden this or not, but I'm giving her a shot. Yeah, I think I'm on it. I actually think I'm on it, people. Isn't that cool? I'm actually on the freaking trail. And we're rocking this. It starts out with a little bit of gravel. Then it becomes a little bit of dirt. I'm gonna just see what I can do. Look at this berm action. You guys seeing this? Berming. Oh yeah. Berming it. This is like BMXing. Ish. If you say ish, you can say anything. Like this is kick ass. I'm killing it. Ish. You know what I mean? So, anyway. I'm on the trail. As far as the map goes. So you can see my little black dot. There we go. Got some high school runners here. I don't know what that's all about. All right. Okay. Wow, I got like all the girls, all the 16-year-old girls in Mission Viejo just ran by us. 
Okay. I know I'm on the trail because it's showing on the map I'm on the trail. I'm going to do a quick little adjustment of my camera. Sure, make sure you can see right. Is that right? Can you see okay? I think so. Okay. Here we go. All right. And I will say on my phone, I dropped a pin, which hopefully is going to mark my location. Because if it didn't, then I am all kinds of screwed. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, here we go. We are rocking this trail, people. See, Harris Creek Trail in Mission Viejo, California. For those that don't know, it's in Orange County, Southern Orange County. I'm like an hour from um, San Diego. And uh, man, it's freaking beautiful back here. These trails just go forever. I don't know if you can see like up there to the left. Like literally trails everywhere you look. Trails, trails, trails. So. The cool thing is I'm kind of parallel to the road. So, you know, I'm still like, you know, amongst civilization, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, big hill here, people. This is where my torque comes in. Like, I go up those hills pretty easy. But I just gotta be real light on the thumb. I can't give it full throttle or it's gonna cut out. Oh, we're right next to a golf course. That's all. You know you're in like a good area when there's a golf course right near, right near you, you know? That's where all the real nice houses are. So this is pretty cool. I love how some people don't call this, they don't call this off-road. This will be just trail riding. Well, the road's over there and I'm not on it. So, call it what you will, I'm calling it off-road. And we are off-roading this right now. Super 73 R in it. So I used to go down hills like this and I might used to think, oh my God, am I gonna be able to come back up? I don't really worry as much anymore because I've got a lot more torque than I used to. But I will say when I was riding with the the rest of the Super Squad Ventura County, which is really just Nate and Dylan, um, we uh, we were hitting some major hills and they were getting up them. I don't know how they were doing it on their stock RX. They were just pedaling like banshees. But uh, yeah, so kind of gave me some renewed sense that you can go up bigger hills than I thought you could on these things, even without the upgrades, you know? All right, what the hell is that? All right. My son's got a uh, volleyball game. He plays for his high school and they're in the, the California Interscholastic Federation Tournament. So I gotta go to that. That's why I'm down here in Mission Viejo. And uh, I gotta do that after I do a little ride here. So I can't go too far. But I also don't wanna go not far enough because I just feel like, man, this is badass. So what time is it? Yeah, I've only got like maybe another five minutes that I gotta turn around, which really sucks, but it is what it is. Cause man, these trails, man, you can just ride these forever. Jesus. So, uh, I've mentioned it before, but I just bought a cab like the driving a taxi cab, Cab Motor Works. It's cabmotorworks.com. I just bought their Eagle, uh, which is $7,000 bike. And it's got a 10,000 watt rear hub motor, insane torque, uh, basically the same torque as the Suron. Um, and uh, a 72 volt 
30 amp hour battery so that's just insane watt hours like that thing is almost two, like 2,000 watt hours so it's gonna just ride forever and anyway that I ordered about a month ago and they said it was gonna take a month but now it's taking another three weeks so it's like getting your uh, an IOU on Christmas for your gifts Christmas morning and it says they'll be here in three weeks you know it's like really I've been waiting for this so kind of sucks what can I do about it right what I don't like is when you hear like ruffling of branches to the right or left I mean is it a, a freaking rabbit is it a squirrel is it a lizard is it um, a uh, what do you call it a uh, freaking rattlesnake is it a bobcat I don't know you know well, this guy's got an electric bike looks like a rad runner I think maybe not Hey there. Oh, he's got a Rad Rover, I think. And here's his wife up here, I bet. I bet she's got a Rad Runner. She doesn't, she probably thinks I'm her husband. She's gonna like reach out to hold my hand or something. Hello. So she's got the Rad City, maybe? I don't know. It looked really narrow, had a big dip. It wasn't the Rad Runner, which has three inch wide tires. What the heck is she doing out here with a Rad City? I think she's on the Rad City and it didn't have dirt tires either. So, wow. Heard some not nice things about Rad Power's um, customer service lately. That's a little disconcerting. I did those reviews and I didn't really talk about customer service because I really didn't have to deal with them, but. That would suck. Maybe they're just overwhelmed right now? I don't know, but anyway. <sighs> this is not the road left less traveled, that is for sure. Gonna pass you on your left. Thank you. This guy's looking at me like, jerk. Your freaking electric bike. Cause he's pedaling, you know? But whatever, I mean, it is what it is. Get yourself one of these. I didn't tell you to get a freaking pedal bike. I rode my ride my road bike for exercise, and I ride this for fun. So I don't pedal much, you know. And I know a lot of Super 73 riders don't really pedal much. The thumbs on the throttle the whole time. That's kind of where I'm at these days, because I ride my other bike and I get some pretty good exercise. All right. We're not going too much further, which is a darn shame because I feel like this literally goes for miles. I think it goes for like five more miles, which just breaks my heart because I really want to ride this forever. But what am I going to do, you know? Look at this. Just keeps going, people. Hidden, hidden treasures. This is freaking unbelievable. Damn, this is fun. Love this. There's a little hidden trail back where I live. And this is a lot like it, but that's only like 300 yards. This is like seven miles. So you just you never get sick of it. It just keeps going and going, and you never, you know, run out of room. You just keep going. Badass. God bless those people that are on regular bikes. So like, pedaling through this would be something, you know. Although, I, uh, I look at Luna's website a lot, Luna Cycle, because I have my little folding bike from Luna, and I just, I love their bikes. Masterpieces. And they just came out, or they, they've had this one called the Luna Apollo for a long time. It's got a massive mid-drive motor, uh, huge 72-volt battery, I believe, and uh, it's just massive. Uh, it's, a, it's a mountain bike, dual sport, uh, not dual sport, dual suspension, and uh, it just looks amazing. It's been like not available for a while it just became available again uh it just looks amazing anyway um putting something like that taking something like that through here would be badass amazing hydraulic disc brakes um really good 29 inch tires i think maybe 
and uh, all kinds of battery power, you know? So you know you're just living large on that. So that would be kick ass. I don't know, I don't know if you guys know, but I just, I'm all about electric bikes, and so I'm like, I'm always looking at like every different kind of electric bike manufacturer. I think I've looked at maybe 85 or 90, I have a list. And I look at all their websites, and I just find like new bikes that are coming out and all this and that, and then I talk about them. So I've actually found a couple other bikes that are coming out that I'm gonna start talking about in a video here pretty quick. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. So I'm going to call it here in a second. I can't go much farther. I'm just not going to be able to get back, you know? Well, oh, this is really cool looking. I love going through like this kind of shit where it's like foresty, you know? Like badass, look at this. All right, I think we're going to turn it on instead of trying to go up that. So you got all these little tributaries, like where are they going? You know, you could get lost pretty freaking easy on this thing if you're not sure where you're going. You know? So where am I? On this stupid thing. I'm way up there, huh? Damn. Alright, I don't know if you guys see this. But I literally went. I'm that little blue dot. See the blue dot right there? And I've literally gone all this way. So I've actually gone a couple miles, I think. Anyway. Anyway. We gotta head back. Okay, part two, going backwards, double backing. Don't you love that term for like going back, it's like double backing? Why is it double backing? Like really? What are you doubling? Just the route? You're going back, I guess? I don't know. That really made sense to me. Anyway, I don't know if you guys saw my recent uh, Instagram post where I posted a video of an original Super 73 uh, OG with the, uh, the mid drive motor uh, that I saw at a bike shop. Like, what a badass vintage, granted, vintage is only like four years old in the e bike world, vintage bicycle. Super 73s are freaking amazing bikes, amazing shocks. You know, I like the bike a lot. I know a lot of people say that they've got. Uh, questionable frames, which I don't. But anyway, um, especially when you get your V3 motor, you're just rocking. Anyway, um, can imagine what, I can only imagine one of these with a mid-drive. Like, shit. I got my Luna folding bike with a mid-drive. I had, I had a hardtail with a mid-drive. Um, and, uh, man, mid-drive, Jesus. The power difference is just astonishing. So one of these with a mid-drive would just be such a freaking amazing situation. My uh, the Fang mid-drive on well, my hardtail mountain bike died, the 750 watt, and I tried to get uh, that put on my Super 73, but I guess the distance between the one the, the, the sprocket and the pedal on the other side is too wide, I guess. It just wouldn't work. I don't quite understand, but it couldn't happen, I guess. So, but I've heard people that have put them on, but maybe it's just the motor I had wasn't wide enough. I don't know. But anyway, it would be freaking amazing. So the fact that they have a, you know, these guys at this bike shop had an actual mid-drive Super 73 is just freaking awesome. Like, what a badass machine, you know? And they're going for a lot of freaking money right now because people don't have, uh, you know, there's not a lot of them. Hey there. Hi there. Sorry. Yeah, she might have a Rad Runner. Um, Whatever the deluxe Rad Runner is, Rad Runner Plus. Now that I think about it, I think she did have like wider tires than I thought she had. So I think she's not a Rad Runner, which God bless her. There's no suspension, unless it is the Plus, which I think has suspension. But going back here without suspension would suck. Suck. Okay, with suspension and with my Super Squad C, I'm freaking living large, people. My ass is loving it. You know? God bless those people though. I mean, <clears throat> a little bit older, a little bit more of a, maybe a beginner or a novice. But I'm like riding by them, you know, flying by them and they're like carefully plotting their course, you know? <laughs> Which is cool, I mean, to each their own. 
It's just kind of funny though. I felt like I was a little aggressive just flying by him there, but whatever. So yeah, this is just awesome. When I get my cab motor works, Eagle, I gotta come back because this is freaking amazing back here. Here's away from tree, away from uh, the street. <clears throat> Not very many people, which is good. Just look at this canopy, love my canopies. Um, just off the beaten path, I just heard something rattling, rustling in the bushes there. So what the hell was that? But off the beaten path, you've got really nice cover with shade. Awesome, like little ups and downs and like little hills and bumps and tightly packed dirt. And you can just whip through here. No problem, you know? That's what we're doing. We're whipping. tell because my speedometer doesn't really work on this new display very well it sometimes works it sometimes doesn't uh, you know it's just it's like kind of hit or miss so it was saying i was going 15 i bet i was going 17 but whatever see i wouldn't be flying through here if i didn't have the suspension you know double suspension something else i just learned by riding with uh nate my little super squad buddy in thousand oaks he has a Super 73 RX. I've never really like seen one up close. I didn't know they had hydraulic disc brakes. I'm on the R with the mechanical and you know, it's good. But I didn't know that it had that. So anyway, this makes you wonder if the extra money is worth it. And you get a light and you get a horn and you get a tail light. You know, it's just kind of cool. So I don't know. But whatever. I've got what I've got and I'm loving it. So. Now we're rocking, people. I bet we're going 18. Oh shit! Whoa! God damn! Did you guys see that? Jesus Christ! You guys seeing these freaking jumps that maybe you can't see, but I sure as hell do. God damn! Like I'm not ready for them. You know, I'm not a jumper. I don't want to be pulling air. When you pull air, you got to lean forward when you're in the air, so your front tire touches. Otherwise, you're gonna land on your rear wheel, and you might like fly off. You know, you're. You know, the front of your bike might fly up in the air and you might fly off. And I don't really have that kind of conditioning, muscle memory yet. So if I go up like a hill, I kind of just go straight up. You know what I mean? I don't tilt forward afterwards. So, I don't know. It's a little scary to me. But whatever. Is that Oslo Parkway? No, it is not. Okay, I was trying to find my way back. Part of me is like trying to go fast for the thrill. Part of me is trying to go fast so I get back quicker. But part of me is like a little concerned hey there, about the freaking jumps. You know, like Jesus Christ. Can't remember everything on the way here, you know what I mean? It's not like, like I'm, oh yeah, there's a big jump coming up. Who the hell remembers? You know? It's just beautiful back here, people. Serene. Serenity. Woo! Loving this. Loving me for some trails. I don't know if my camera's bouncing all over the place or what, but I'll try to make it a little tighter here in a minute. Alright, we're gonna get a little momentum. Alright. Woo! Golf course in it. Off to the right. At least I know I'm going back the right way. I 
Anyway, I know there's a Super 73 group that recently just did, where's LA Eastgate? I'm not sure. That recently did Newport Beach. Well, that's that sounds awesome. This might be a great place to ride, you know? So, to those that are watching, that are in that group, this might be a good place to ride. There's a lot of trails around here. If you look on, I look on, um, I'll tell you in a minute, the name of this stupid app that I'm looking at. It's called MTB Project. Like mountain bike project. And, uh, uh oh, anyway. Um, that's where I found this trail. It's got all different trails, mountain bike trails around the country. And uh, that's where I found this. And it's got a bunch around here. A bunch in the Mission Viejo area. So, could be a good place for a, a meetup. I missed that Newport Beach one. I would have gone. I just didn't catch it in time. Because uh, I definitely want to hook up with some of those folks. You know? Definitely. Just forming my little crew locally, it's just nice. It's kind of cool riding with people have the same bike and, you know, I don't know, it's just cool, it's fun. I get it now. I never really got it, you know? I've been a solo rider for so long, you know, now I finally get it. It's kind of cool. All right. Now I'm gonna try to find my way back to my car. Is there a way I can get back to my car by the road instead of having to take the freaking trail back? Cause, or should I just take the trail back? Nah, we'll take the trail back. We're graveling it, people. Look at this. This is some real gravel, and I'm like hydroplaning. Oh boy, handling it pretty well though. But a little bit of hydroplaning. Short turns, so I gotta like slow down, drop my leg even, just to make sure I don't spin out. There we go. All right. I think the next big street I come up to, I'm gonna just jump off and try to just make my way back that way. Because I took some really circuitous route. Even before I started this video, I like took a circuitous route to even get to this part. I don't feel like going all the way back again. It's just a pain in the ass. Is this a berm? Am I burping this? Yeah, I am. Are you seeing this? Well, it's more of an up, down thing, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Alright people, I think that's going to do it for this ride. You probably don't want to ride back on the streets with me. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, more to come. God bless. Peace out.